Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Actually, the last month I've been using the Retouch For Me Photoshop panel, and I do prefer it over the individual plugins in Photoshop. Last video, I showed that I used the Hill plugin, the Dodger Burn, and the Portraits Volume, and I do understand that each, even with the Guam Tony promotional discount, each plugin is around $100. But with the Photoshop panel, just one credit equals one retouch of a photo and you can actually use a limited plugins as much plugins as you need for the photo actually let's uh get on the computer and i can show you what i'm talking about i just did a photo shoot with gabby and this is using the like a q3 so let me open up one photo here i am opening up adobe photoshop 2025 and this is on a Mac Studio M1 Max on the Apple Pro Display XDR 32 inch. And as you can see, you have the retouch uh, for me panel here. But the way I edit my photos is I open it up in Camera Raw and then go to Preset. And I've been using the Old Money Preset version one. And you can actually tweak the photo as you like. So I'm gonna lower down the highlights a little bit. Uh, maybe increase exposure just a bit. There you go. And maybe a little bit more shadows and press OK. So I have the colors uh, the way I want it. And let's go back to the computer. This is the Retouch For Me panel. And this is the latest version as of April 2025. I believe it's 1.43 version. And I have Hill check marked. Uh, Manifier on Dodger Burn Portrait Volume Skin Tone, and usually each plugin would be like a hundred dollars. Eye Brilliance, uh, Eye Whites, you can even turn this on to take off some of the eye vessels. And the options for each is you can control the sensitivity, and there's also a different way uh, to control the sensitivity um, after you press uh, retouch. Okay, so let's just click retouch. I have actually timed it where each photo, depending on the photo, it may take two or three minutes. What's happening is, and you can, as you can see on the screen, it says cloud retouch. What's happening is the data is being sent to retouch for me's cloud servers. And uh, keep in mind, everything's safe and private. And the data is coming back to your computer, but it's using your uh, computer's processing power. As you can see here, enhancing active, the bar is halfway and we've almost been at it for about a minute. And you will see when everything is done, all the different Photoshop layers will appear on the uh, layers panel on the, or the layers pane on the right hand side. Okay, so let's just uh, let this run through. Okay, it says enhancing completed. And as you can see, all the layers are coming out. And keep in mind, if you were to do each plugin individually, it may be a little bit slower than using the Retouch For Me panel. Okay, wow. Uh, let's go to history real quick. And this is before, this is even without the uh, color. And this is after, huge difference. So portrait volumes, this visibility off on you can see the difference here same thing with uh heel uh, let's just zoom into um, gabby's face right here and with the heel turn this on gabby does have freckles but it doesn't take away like uh, the fine freckles there just the larger ones and some of the imperfections on her face and eye brilliance off on uh, let's see what else. Eye vessels off on, hard to see. Manifier, this kind of magnifies the skin to be less shiny in the sun. Dodger burn, oh, this is a big one. So this is off and this is on. Now, if the Dodger burn is too much for you, let's go back to the computer here. You can actually, after the fact, click on this layer and see how the opacity is 81%. So similar to the panel here where the opacity, I did the blend is 81%. But after the fact, you can actually adjust the opacity to 100 or turn off completely. So I have it to 81 just to keep some of the uh, 
contrast here on her face because with it off and on, sometimes it's a little bit too much for my taste. So around 80% is fine. And we do Command Shift E to smash all the layers. And there you go. And you can of course press J if you wanna take out any other like maybe stray hair on Yanabi's face. You know, for example, on the top of here, you can remove it. And then of course uh, I do Command Shift X. Uh, this is if you want to, uh, you know, use the liquify tool. If you want to maybe push in this arm a bit, for example. And that's pretty much it. And you've only used one credit. I believe for $20, you get 200 credits. And with the Guam 20 promotional code, you get a bonus of 50 credits. And again, any unused credits will roll over. Personally, I edit maybe, if I do two photo shoots a month, maybe 50 photos at the most. So you're actually getting your money's worth and stretching it out. All right, let's do another photo. Let's close this. We are not going to save it. Next one. Okay, opening this up. And of course, I'm going to the camera raw. I'm going to do old money. I'm going to lower down the highlights just a little bit. Press OK. And on the settings part, do we touch for me panel? I have highest cloud results turned off. I did try it on. It does take, again, depending on the photo, photo sometimes twice amount of time. And output format JPEG. I actually couldn't find any difference between the highest color results and the regular, so I actually just kept it off. And you have other options here, auto plugin search, disable for plugins are in non-standard locations or errors occurs. I don't have any errors at all. Um, only you only turn this on if you're facing issues uh, assessing the uh, cloud retouch, but I never had any problems. So I just left everything default. On device is the actual plugins you have installed, but uh, this doesn't take credits. This is the one where you actually have to purchase the plugins individually. So going back here, I'm just gonna leave everything on. Even though she has no teeth, you can just leave it on and no problems, but you can turn off. So I can process a little bit faster. Okay, let's just click retouch. So I have around the time 307. Let's see how long this takes. I'm just gonna fast forward the video a bit. Okay, so it's completed. About a minute and a half, almost two minutes. It's not bad. Okay, Mattifier. Okay, you see that? Let's go zoom in a bit. See how on Gabby's face with it off and on, it kind of takes away some of the highlights. It's pretty cool. Dodge and burn. You can lower down this a bit, just so her face doesn't look too flat. Opacity. And eye vessels, it looks pretty good. Eye brilliance pretty good and yeah i can say that pretty much you're done with this photo in two minutes and you let uh retouch for me take care of everything for you okay uh, another example and actually this example okay so last photo i actually want to show how to use the lens blur tool with my photo i'm going to go to presets old money version one i'm going to lower down the highlights a bit Increase exposure, a tad, shadows a little bit more. And we're gonna go down to lens blur, optics, lens blur right here, and click apply. Now this is kind of in beta when I was trying it out. I think it should be working, there it is. Now with the lens blur tool, turn it off, on. You'll notice that some of Gabby's hair is missing in the background. And if you want to, and that this is just the way I edit, turning it on. If you want to bring it back, and I like to add a little bit cat eye effect. Refinement, there you go. So with refinement, focus, 
You can actually go around Gabby's hair to bring it back since some of it was gone. And that's all I would do. Open it up. And so with the Leica Q3, because it's a wide angle lens, shot open a 1.7. This actually looks like it was shot with like a 50 millimeter 1.4. And it's even hard to tell, especially on social media. Uh, Gabby's not smiling, so I'll turn off my teeth. And I'm just gonna let everything run through. And as you can see, every time I press the retouch button, uh, the credit just went down from 83 to 82. Now, while this is a retouching, I did experiment uh, using it actually more than one time on the photo. So let's say, for example, I'm retouching this photo and I forgot to enable the hill. And then I go back and I turn everything off and enable the hill and I press retouch. It actually uses another credit. So please keep in mind that choose what you want first. Adjust the, uh, oh, it's done already while I was talking. Adjust the um, settings for each. Like if you don't want dodge and burn too much or magnify, I actually had to turn that down as well. Uh, skin tone, of course. You can adjust how you want it. Then of course, later on after the fact, like I showed you, you can adjust the opacity on the layers pane. Uh, but yes, every time you touch the uh, retouch button, it actually takes out one credit. So again, we're pretty much done here uh, with this photo. And let's put this on screen, full screen, yeah. So the last month, like I said, be using the Retouch For Me panel. I just like it where I can choose all the plugins that I want instead of spending, I know it is lifetime, lifetime we spend $100 each for each plugin, but it's just peace of mind that I can just pay a small amount of money per month, get at least you know, with the bonus, 250 credits, and I don't even need that much uh, to edit, 250 edited photos, but it just saves me time. It uh, saves me uh, money up front instead of spending that much. I can just um, spread it out throughout the year. And as you can see, this photo looks amazing. Just waiting like two minutes to get um, it completed, running through all the plugins. Thank you for watching Guam Photography. If you haven't, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about the Retouch For, for Me panel, uh, please let me know, just comment below and I'll be happy to answer them.